Hello guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable real view graphics for SOLIDWORKS. This works on SOLIDWORKS 2017, 16, 18, um, I'll be using SOLIDWORKS 2020 in this example. Here you can see I've already gone ahead and extruded an item. This um, circle right here is has its material set to raw stainless steel. We can see that here in the material description, uh, but the appearance is not that of the raw stainless steel in SOLIDWORKS. So, when we go up to view in our menu up here and we go to display going all the way down to real view graphics we can see that it is currently grayed out we cannot click it to set the material well I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix that now I'm using a 1050 Ti uh, graphics card in a laptop but this works with any other card that's not supported as well so the first thing you want to do is Go ahead and open up your registry editor. Once you open your registry editor, you want to navigate to your H key current user. Go ahead and click that drop down to open it up. If it's not already expanded, inside the H key current user folder, you'll want to go to software. Inside the software folder, you'll want to go ahead and go down to SolidWorks select the version of SOLIDWORKS you're using, in my case, SOLIDWORKS 2020. And in the SOLIDWORKS 2020 folder, you want to go all the way down until you get to Performance. Inside Performance, we'll expand Graphics. And inside Graphics, we'll go ahead and expand Hardware. Now, this Hardware folder is where we're going to be doing all of our work. Inside the Hardware folder, we'll be primarily working in two areas, with the current, which shows your current hardware, in my case, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, as well as the GL2 shaders folder. So the first thing you want to do, well, I'll give you an overview of the process. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking the value of our current folder for the renderer, we'll be taking the data in the value data, and we'll be creating basically a new definition for that in our GL2 shaders folder. So first thing we need to do is determine the architecture of our 1050 card. So what you do is whatever card you have go ahead and type in that card and just type in architecture so we can discover what the architecture is. Here for our GPU we see that the architecture is Pascal. So the next thing we want to do is find a supported card such as a Quadro that supports that same architecture. So I'll go ahead and copy the Pascal and I'll paste it into there and we'll be looking at Pascal Quadro. So we can go ahead and look at the definition on the website but I already know that this P4000 which is what I'll be using in this case but it doesn't really matter. Any card that supports Quadro that's currently defined in the system will work. We'll be using this P4000, however. So the car we'll be referencing is the Quadro P4000. So once you know your supported card that you're going to be mimicking and your current card, you can go ahead and close out your browser because you have the information that you need. The next thing I'll be doing is I'll be looking for that P4000 card under this GL2 shaders folder. So whatever card you selected, go ahead and navigate to these folders, see if it's there, it's not there. It's not in the NV30 folder. It's actually over here in the NV40 folder with several other cards. So go ahead and scroll down until you find that card in there somewhere in the mix. Here it goes down here. This is our Quadro P4000. Now we're going to create a new key in, within this folder that is using this workarounds data. So we found our P4000. We know where the data is. So what we're going to go ahead and do is scroll up to the root of this NV40 folder. Well first, go back up to your current folder that we looked at earlier. So under your current folder, wherever it's gone to, right here, again that's performance graphics hardware, our current folder. Go to your render and double click render. Now we just want to right click this right here and copy it. Once you right click it and copy it, you can close it out. We're going to go to this NV40 folder that has our Quadro card that we're using, and we're going to right click on the NV40. 
when you right click it you're going to select new and you're going to select key so it will give us the new key down here go to that new key we just created right click on it select rename and we're going to go ahead and paste in that value that we just copied all right so now we have this card that's been defined under here the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and go back to our quadro p4000 and we're going to create this value in our workarounds so i'll double click on that and what i'm doing is i'm double clicking the workarounds to open it up and i want to copy this value data right here so i'll copy it and then you can just click ok inside your folder we created down here we can go ahead and right click on that folder for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX we're going to go ahead and select new and D word 32 bit value once you select the D word 32 bit value we're going to name it workarounds just type that in workarounds once you've done that go ahead and click on it and paste that value data that we copied into there and select OK. All right, so that actually should be all we have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close out Registry Editor. I'm going to close out SolidWorks. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and just refresh my desktop right there. Then I'm going to open up SolidWorks once more. pause this while it opens up because it takes a second on my slow computer here. Now that I have SolidWorks open, I'm going to go ahead and open back up my file. And now you can see RealView Graphics has been enabled. If we go up to the View menu and we go to Display, now you see that RealView Graphics is turned on and we have all the options associated with it including the rear view graphics option in the menu up here um, I hope this information and this video has been helpful for you and you're able to get your rear view graphics set up so you can view your models the way you want thank you for watching and have a great day